so okay okay now um today uh i will keep the continuation from day three so now at the day three so what happened is that that uh, the person the who are born in the pardo state they will have a vision or the vision of the ratna sambhava the buddha the actually the ratna sambhava buddha <coughs> yeah <coughs> will have <coughs> vision of the ratna sambhava buddha at the day three mainly because that the person can have the vision of the ratna sambhava buddha because the day three that the person have the purified the all the elements of a soil element so because of that <coughs> the in the bean <coughs> bardo bean will have a vision of the radha sambhava buddha on the day three also then he will see the light as uh, same as uh, light as a very strong light uh yellow light strong and a very intense yellow light with together with the strong and the strong very yellow light he or she will have a vision of the blue light which is not very intense the <clears throat> that time the what the parto have to practice is the same as a before that the parto should not get or uh, should not get attract toward the light which is not very strong or intense the parto being should get a track or should follow that the strong the yellow light so this is on the day three so as i mentioned before so day three and the day four day five he will have a visions of the different buddha on the so day four the part of beings will have the visions of the amitabha buddha with when he was having amitabha buddha vision that the pardo bean will see the very intense and the strong the red light in the day four and uh, simultaneously pardo bean will see the yellow light which is not very intense on day four so why the pardo beings having a visions of the, that light these kinds of the light there are the few reasons the one reason is that uh, <clears throat> from the vajrayana perspective for the uh, the the they are the five elements five elements when the person dies he will lose the all the five elements not only the losing the five elements he purified get purified with the five elements so when you are getting the purified with the five elements <clears throat> when get the purified with the uh, elements of the fire 
when getting the purifying with the element with the soil well this is all of the purifying of the five element the purified by the soil element purified of the uh, water element purified with the fire element purified of the air element purified with the space element when the person <clears throat> was born in the Pardo state by the purifying the these of the five element so that the Pardo beans will have the visions of the five different Buddhas as I mentioned the last time the five Buddhas are the not other these five Buddhas are the not other than the transformations of the our own five aggregates so that's what that's why the on the day four the Pardo bean have uh, visions of the Amitabha Buddha with the Amitabha Buddha sorry it's a day four Amitabha Buddha Amitabha Buddha the Pardo bean will have a vision with a very intense red light simultaneously with the light yellow light which not very intense so in the state of the pardo one thing is that uh, these the pardo beams will they have a physical form or not they are having a physical form but not like a human physical form they can see, they can hear. They can see and they can hear. More interesting thing is that the they can understand the humans, the mentality before the human speaks. So that means they can read the human mind. So that's why it's a very important that the, when you're visiting the funerals, and uh, when you're praying for the person who passed away, it's a very important to generate the gene in the compassion or the gene in the attitude to benefiting the other. Because the person who are born in the Pardo state, they can read the human's mind. They can read the human's mind and they will know exactly that what you think. When you're praying for them, when you pray them a very, with the very compassion, with the gene and attitude of the benefiting the benefiting them, then they will be happy. When you're not doing something with the very right motivations, or the when you generated some of the negative emotions toward the person who died at the time when you are visiting the funeral. The Pardo beans can read that your mind and that they will get very upset. Now the thing is that how can they read the mind, human's mind? Because the right now that the, we cannot read the other's mind because of the, our physical body. When we are having the gross physical body, our consciousness, the stand or the power of the, our consciousness will be very different. Like uh, if you look at the dream state, in the consciousness, in the dream state, is a very different, very clear, very sharp. Whatever things you see in the dream, it's a so clear, it's a so real. Because of the, that, in the dream, in the state of uh, sorry the consciousness we call the dream consciousness is uh, more subtle so that's why it can see the things more clear so in same thing in the consciousness 
at the Pardo state, it is um, very clear and it can read the human's mind. Okay, so now the D5. Again, they will have the vision of the fifth Buddha. So when the day five, it will have, uh, they will see the green light. Very strong green light on the day five. Green light. Mm. So simultaneously that the, with the green light, what they will have uh, again that uh, red light, which is not very intense on at the day five. So the thing is same that uh, the person who are born in the part of the state, <clears throat> even at the day five, he have to do exactly the same that the, he have to follow. He have to follow that the intense light, what he or she is saying, and the not to follow the light, which is not very intense. Now, thing is that the person who are born in the Pardo state, so more you stay in the Pardo state and the slowly that the, it makes the person to get used to that the Pardo state. For initially, the person born in the Pardo state might get feared, upset, scared. But the when the few days passes, the slowly he or she will get the adjust with the new environment. Because they are seeing it as the everything, whatever the everything that you your experience or the you, environment become get used to when when you've been through that quite some time. So when the Pardo state, person who are born in the Pardo state, slowly they will get used to the environment or get used to the that the things that the what that things environments. So so that's why the it makes the little bit more difficult to get elaborate from the part of the state later later time later times because the part of beings are getting uh, getting more used to the that environment because initial state when they have the scare fear and the strongly they have the motivation to get liberate of the death state. When you have the desire to wish to get liberate of the death state, it makes you more easier to get liberate. When you get used to, then the, your motivation or the desire will be not that strong. The desire or motivation to get liberate of the Pardo state won't be that strong. So that's why, so now the, uh, so now the, uh, up till the day five, that Pardo being will have a visions of the difference of the five different Buddhas. That the five different Buddhas, so now one, important thing is uh, here that the uh, important thing is there that the normally people used to ask the question that uh, when we pray for the dead people will we, how it will benefit the person who passed away 
So when you are praying for the person the, who passed away, the person have already born in the state of the pardo. When the person is the born in the state of the pardo, when you are praying for them, that prayer will bring some of the effects on the, their mental attitude. That mental attitude effect and the they will have that effect will help them to follow the right lights. When they follow the right lights, that will lead them towards the Buddha's the pure land, to bonds in the, the Buddha's pure land. So that is the way how we can benefit the person who are born in the Pardo state. And the second thing is important thing is that some people they might have a very strong desire to bond back, to bond back in the same place. Example, let me give you one small example. When the person was take an example, when the person was died and that the person want to bond back and that this world specially this world to meet that person's the family or the friends it is a very high possible that the, in the state of the pardo they can remember that their purpose of the dying and again take the rebirth back in the same place or the same country way the person want to bond because the from this angle so what we can see is that the when the person have a desire some person might have a desire to reborn back to the wall then the person can their person that is a very high possible there are very high possibilities that the person can reborn again back to the this world okay thank you so much thank you so today i'll stop here thank you thank you so much